what do. It's your man, Mr. O with the info. Give me what you need to know. But you ain't here for me, though. Uh, back again with another video. Another burning desire. Or, what <clears throat> should I say? Love have no fury. Hell have no fury. Like a woman scorned. That's what appears that D'Erica Wiggins, you know, of M-Town, you know, City of the Blues, Memphis. Back in March, apparently, her and a little boo thing, former boo thing, apparently got into it, didn't want to be with her no more. Okay. Just um, from the WREG, Channel 3 Memphis News, where I got some of this information from. Uh, so basically, she was in a relationship. Relationship ended. Homie moved on. So, and I guess he went and got with another woman, got her pregnant, had a baby, started a family. Won't even think about the earth to no more. But not just black women. Women in general have a hard time letting go and moving on. Especially, it looks like it appears that he left her first. Women love doing the pumping and dumping. They need you to be the one to feel guilty, depressed, and angry that they left you. Not the other way around. Lord forbid, if they was not the initiated to their own relationship demise someone's got to pay and we see that we have the Erica bringing to another man's house while sleeping with his baby mama and baby the Erica Williams decided to go ahead and set the whole bed on fire with all three on it yeah it, it, it didn't uh, go as according as planned I mean unless she was trying to get a, a, a triple homie you know, and Ch Charlie uh, Pyatt is not going to serve that much time despite how heinous and irrehensible the crime act was. We over here at the Ozone don't support this uh, type of behavior and should be called out, but this is just some uh, piece of information from Memphis that we all should be on the lookout for. I don't know if she has some type of mental issues or post-traumatic uh, disorder from said relationship, but people, mental health is very, very important and people need to go get checked out. Now, I'm not gonna say sign up for therapy because a lot of them are charlatans and uh, snake oil salesmen and don't want to see the betterment of people, but try to find someone that you're close to, you can actually confide in, and you can actually trust with the information because this right here could have been avoided by all cases. And ladies, ladies, and men included, when somebody is done with you, just take the hint, move on, improve yourself. Even if it's not was your fault in a relationship, and if it was, go ahead and find that particular situation that you need to work on so you can be the best version of yourself for your next relationship for both men and women. But it's your man, Mr. O, with the info. Give me what you need to know. But you ain't here for me, though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.